Hey there, Bullities. I'm Adam Hearth. And I'm Grant Paulson. And this is your Charge Report, Friday the 13th. Now on to local news. In some of Louisville's busiest intersections, a man or woman may be spotted wearing a fluorescently colored vest, and they are collecting money in a bucket. Who do these people work for? Well, after much, much investigation, I have discovered that the group is called New Life Church of Louisville Incorporated. The church is a satellite location of a much bigger operation headquartered in Tampa, Florida. I discovered a cult-like group in which members are recruited from among the homeless and then they're forced to go from town to town and collect money in these buckets. Authorities believe that this is a donation scam. That's what people get when they talk to strangers. Oh, I know. Mommy always said to never trust homeless people. Speaking of homeless people, a South Odom County student is now facing criminal charges after he took a swing at a police officer. Officials say the officer had to stun the student using a taser to calm him down. This just in, this is your school bully alert. Andrew, mean mug and Alvarez, has been terrorizing our students for far too long. Watch out for his vicious ways and his glistening brown face. We will keep you updated here in the newsroom. But there is better news, bullies. Spring break will start on March the 30th. Hopefully Kentucky will be graced with excellent tanning weather. I'm starting to look a little pasty myself, and so is Grant. Spring break will last until April the 3rd. That's pretty exciting, but you know what's even more exciting? Prom. Prom tickets are now on sale during all lunches, so go get yours before it's too late. You know what's even more exciting? We have new TVs in the lunchroom. While we eat our delicious meals our mom makes us, we can watch channels such as CNN and, my favorite, ESPN. Wow. You know what's even more exciting? Absolutely nothing. What's better than TVs in the lunchroom? You know, Grant, I'm, I'm just really not sure. Hmm. Bye-bye, Birdie! Let's go to Bobby with more on our latest school production. Hey, booties. Bobby here. The play Bye-bye, Birdie is about to show. Let's go get some information about it. Hey, here with Cal. Cal.
Kyle, are you going to go to the play Bye Bye Birdie? No. 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 Yeah, most likely. Yeah, how about? No. No, sir. When is it? Uh, this week. No, Friday, right? Friday? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I don't know. I'm just not interested in stuff like that. It's going to be a great play. It's Chandler's last play, by the way. What is it about? It's about, um, wow. I can't sit still that long. It's, uh, you won't have to be sitting still because it's going to keep you on your toes the whole the whole play. That's why not. Um, because I'm really not interested in plays. But it's about rock and roll, man. Well, uh, I guess I'll miss out. Are you in the play, Bob? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm in it. You're in it? No. Yeah, I am. I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the main. Why? I don't know. You know all it is is five bucks. You need to watch a great play. Oh, yeah. You're going, right? Yeah. You promise? Mm-hmm. So if I don't see you there, I get to beat you up? Yeah. The musical, so I hope you like songs. Yeah. Can you sing? Oh, can you sing? Memories all alone in the moonlight. Uh, uh, you know, my throat was. I've had a sore throat for about a month and a half, and this is not suitable for me to sing in. So I'm here with Miss Chandler. Ms. Chandler, can you give us some information about the play coming up? Bye bye, Birdie. Yes. Bye Bye Birdies coming up April the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And there will be a student matinee on that Friday for all of our students. It's first come, first serve basis for $5 because we can only sell the amount of tickets we have t we have seats for. Then there will also be the night performances at 7.30 p.m. And it's going to be a fun play, and it's a satire of the 80s, back with the Elvis Presley era. And it's lots of fun, lots of music, lots of dance. Scene, just lots of crazy satire. Ask your English teacher what that is if you don't know what a satire is. Yeah. So I hear this is your last play, is that correct? This is my last musical because this is called the grand finale of the Jasper Chandler era. And that's why it's called Bye Bye Birdie, Bye Bye Chandler, Bye Bye Jasper. And there were two other people that started with us from the time that we began. After that, we're going to pass the musical torch off that night on the Saturday to Mrs. Gary. And then she will start the new era of musicals. But next year, I will be doing drama, but it will be in the library where we'll be doing mystery plays and dinner theater and some comedies. Well, thank you, Miss Chandler. I'm pretty excited about the play. You are so welcome. It will be a fun-filled day. Thanks, Bob, for that report. Well, I, for one, sure cannot wait to see what Miss Chandler and Mr. Jasper have in store for us. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see what Christopher McCarg, our weatherman, has in store for us. Let's go see what he's got. You're hot and you're cold. Hey there guys in the studio, I'm out here in the Weather Dome of course, weather this week is looking pretty good. We got temperatures in the 60s, 50s, 60s, Nathan? Chris! Is that you? Yeah! Nathan, how you doing? I'm doing great, That's how are awesome. you? That's awesome, I missed you. I missed you too. You look so good. You do too. You look great. Have you been working out? I have been working out. I push up. Push I ups. Push ups? The perfect push up. The perfect push up? Mm -hmm. It looks perfect. You look perfect. Thanks. That's it's awesome. It's been so long. How it, long has it been? Uh, probably a few years. It's been. It's definitely been a few years. Yeah. <sighs> Your physique is just awesome. Yeah. You're, you're a little closer than usual. A little closer? Is that, is that like offend you or something? Uh, I mean, yeah. It kind of does. I don't know why y'all put well, my I mean, face. Well, I mean, you did step up in my personal space. Uh, prove you're it. You're the one that took the step closer towards me. Well, I mean, I guess I can move back a little bit. Then move back. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm just All right, fine. I have to do the weather anyway. Wait. Wait. Nathan. Nathan, you're the greatest thing. That Nathan. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I totally I was. I was angry there for a few seconds. Me too. But I've totally calmed down. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
You know, we should have dinner sometime. We should have dinner. Let's not wait two or three years to talk again. Let's not. Okay. And Nathan? Yeah. Say hello to Kathy and the kids for me. I will. Good talking to you. Good talking to you too. Back to you guys. Thank you, Chris, for your comprehensive evaluation of our climatic changes. It's just a weird way of saying weather. I believe the proper term is jargon. Well, any hoozle, let's go to Les with his weird news report. All right, I'm Les, and I'm back here with the weird news. It's the Les Switch! Yeah, for this week, and a kangaroo in Australia, since that's where they're from, attacked a little girl at 2 a.m. on Sunday. Crazy, right? He's pretty much just hopped through the door and started attacking this little girl. And then the dad had to fight him off, and it was crazy. They were throwing bows, and it was kind of like TNA. Kind of. Almost like that. But Sting wasn't there, so I mean, it doesn't really count. All right, and for my next story, an owl attacks a late night, late night skier in Colorado. The guy was just having a good time just skiing down the mountain. And what do you know? A freaking owl comes out of the tree and takes his head off. His whole entire head. And now he's headless and he's dead. Kind of like TNA. Crazy, right? And... Yep. I don't know what else to say. But... That guy has no head and he's dead. Oh, then this one story about this kangaroo going to this one house. Tagged this little two-year-old about 2 a.m. Sunday, and the dad had to fight him off. Throwing bows and everything. It was crazy. Yeah. Freaking crazy. Yeah. Kind of like TNA. But uh, TNA's where it's at, Rodney, and it's not fake. You know what's fake? UFC. That's fake. 100% fake. Thank God for them cameramans. Because they know what to do. Oh, and this one story about this owl. All right, it's a skier just on going down the mountain at a late night ski. Going by the moonlight because it was so peaceful and nice out. And then what do you know? A freaking owl takes his head off. Freaking owl takes his head off. Yeah. That's all I got for this week. Yeah. See you next week. Yeah. For some weird news. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Les. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I am Adam. And I'm Grant. And that was your Charger Report. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.